Hey guys, I'm here with you guys to make a homemade um, coffee creamer. I've saw this for a while on YouTube and I haven't got to it. I've been wanting to for about a month now and I'm just now getting to it. But anyway, super simple ingredients. You can um, make this various ways. You can use heavy whipping cream. Um, you can also use the um, sweetened um, milk. It's like a creamer milk. Um, to give it like a sugary taste, but I just want these two ingredients. So I got these from the Dollar Tree. This is the uh, Marcel's Modern Pant Pantry, and this is 2%. And then I also got this here. This is the Coconut Milk Premium a lot. Y'all, I love some coconut cre uh, coffee creamer. Here lately, it's hard to find. So I'm hoping this tastes really good. And doing it this way, the um, ingredients are also cleaner. Um, so, anyways, we're gonna get to this. Um, you can also add like vanilla flavoring, any type of like uh, sweeteners that you want. Um, I also like this um, skinny syrups, coconuts um, sweetener. That's what I've been using in my coffee creamer. But we're gonna try this. Um, I'm gonna use this whole thing, the can, and then the rest, um, I'll be putting the milk in. So we're gonna give this a try, y'all. <clears throat> And let's pray that I don't spill it. Okay. And then I'm going to use some of this milk and I'm just going to fill the rest up with milk. I think it's supposed to be like half and half anyway, so I'm just gonna, oops. Also got some of that sweetened condensed milk stuff, but I think it's just too much calories, so I'm not going to use that, but you can use that too if you like sugary creamer, and I don't like my creamer being that sugary, so or sweet, I should say. All right, so now, so for making this creamer, I literally spent 250. And I still have like about this much in the container of milk left, so. I'm hoping this tastes good, y'all. Okay, so we're going to, and then this container here is just a container left from like regular old coffee made or whatever. Um, and I just took off the wrapper and washed this out and you're good to go. So there's cough creamer. I've not tried this, so I don't know what it tastes like. Um, I may need to add something to it. I don't know yet, but let's see, shall we? Let's make our coffee. I always try to pour my coffee in here before I make my coffee because I like it to just mix in there real good. So we're gonna add some of that and then we're gonna go in with some of this Wild Mountain Blueberry Coffee from Green Mountain. close to the rim. Okay, so we're gonna try this, and this is kinda like all the way up to the top, so I have to be careful, and it's kinda hot, so let's give it a try.
Okay, pretty tasty. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of this uh, creamer to it. Like I said, you can also add um, vanilla, but to give it like a sweeter taste, I'm going to put in some of this um, the coconut skinny syrup. So, and that will also make it a little bit sweeter because that there is not sweet at all. That like like none at all. So, I'm gonna add some of this. Not a whole lot. Maybe that's good. And then I'm also going to add a dollop in here. Like so. Maybe just a little bit more in here. There we go. This stuff, y'all, is so good. If you like coconut, like this is amazing. And you can use this for your waters, um, all different kind of things. So. You can buy those at the website, and some uh, TJ Maxx has them. And, and then just shake this up. And each time that you use it, you need to shake it up since it's like, you know, you made it yourself or whatever. Um, but anyways, y'all, that's how you make your creamer. Um, I really like that. Let's taste it with this sweetener in it. Oh, my, I'm still sleepy. This is my second cup of coffee. Okay, let's try. Okay, yep. It's perfect. Now, if you want this sweeter, I would get a small can of that uh, condensed um, creamer. So, all right, guys, until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.